Hi, Candy Flames here with another Yankee Candle review and today I am talking about Wild Orchid. So welcome back if you've been here before and a big warm welcome if you are new. I am here for you every Sunday reviewing Yankee Candles. So let's jump straight into this one. On the looks, this one is stunning. I really, really love this one. Like It's like a nice um, purple wax and these stunning wild orchids all around. I, I just love it. I think if you're going to have this one on display, it just looks stunning. Um, look at it, it goes right round. I honestly think this one looks beautiful, it really, really does. Very appealing, very eye-catching. Um, the description we've been given by Yankee Candle is escape to a lush tropical paradise that's equal parts intoxicating florals and sweet ripe fruit. So let's go through some of the notes here. There's quite a few of them. Um, we have top notes of sunny ozone, mandarin blossom, bergamot, palm leaf. We have mid notes of wild orchid, hibiscus, strawberry nectar, midnight jasmine, banana flower. And we have a base of fruity musk, sandalwood and white amber. Um, so this one, it says it's a floral. I would say it's a fruity floral. It's, oh, I have to tell you, I am really, really loving this one. Really loving this one. So much so that I will be repurchasing it. I just, it's one of them ones, you know, when you have a cold sniff, when you first get your candle and you have a cold sniff, I can't stop sniffing it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really, I can't big this one up enough. So I actually was lucky, I got this one, uh, it was on scent of the month, I can't remember because Yankee Candle on the UK website, they do a scent of the month and instead of paying 31 99 they go down to 23 99 so I did pick it up when it was at that price but it's currently back up at the full price at the moment. So it's a very popular one, it's got a 4.8 rating uh, from 94 reviews really everyone out there seems to be enjoying this one and I can really understand why it's gorgeous so it's like a a fresh fruity floral it smells exotic but it's not too florally and it's not overpowering because some people have put off floral candles because they just think that they're going to be very overpowering on the floral side and also very perfumey but it's not it is not perfumey and it is not overpowering like i said i just can't stop sniffing this one i love it it's a nice uh candle it's a good mood one definitely boosts your mood i feel um i won't be without this one in my collection it's a clean fresh fruity floral and that is how i would sum it up so going back over the notes we have this sunny ozone that is probably that lovely, beautiful freshness that comes through. The fruitiness, we've got this, the bergamot, the mandarin blossom, the palm leaf, keeping that bit of greenery in there. Uh, the beautiful wild orchid, the hibiscus, that strawberry nectar, midnight jasmine. It's got some such lovely notes in here and you can get that fruity muskiness and I, I get that sandalwood and a slight bit of white amber there in the background running through it. It's blended absolutely flawlessly. I just, I can't pick this one up enough. And I'm not, I have to say that I'm not re really very big on my floral candles, but it, that's all changing recently. I have bought some lovely ones that I'm gonna be reviewing and yeah, I'm really enjoying them, really enjoying them. So uh, the throw on this one, I would give this a seven and a half, I feel on the throw. And this one does linger. I love ones that, you know, when you put them out and you can still smell it for a while afterwards. It is, it is honestly, I just love this one. If you've tried this, then let me know down below in the comments what you think to this one. I also feel, so some candles I think are quite personal taste. I know a lot of the candles that I, I burn are the Yankee Candle ones that have like what I call the baked notes and, and then the bakery notes. I do have some members of my family that come around and just 
do not like that type of candle but this one here this is one of them ones that i feel it's very versatile it's very people pleasing i think that you could have this on and it's not going to offend anybody it's going to be a great one to have burning when you've got people coming over i feel it can go again it's versatile it can go in any room of the house um I'm not so sure it would be strong enough to go in the kitchen to mask cooking smells, but it would certainly work out there. Uh, the season, I think definitely springtime and summertime, especially summertime because I associate a lot of florals with the spring, but this one with that beautiful sort of greenery and that fruitiness in there can definitely work for the summer. But I also feel that if it's autumn or winter and you you love this one as much as like I do it's great for a boost in your mood brilliant I feel like I say it's versatile and it's for everyone um I looked on to like I say the reviews on the website and it seems out there it's very popular there wasn't um anybody really saying anything bad about it um all the reviews were saying the same uh good throw and just a great all-round candle and doesn't it look stunning like i say i really really feel this one looks stunning so pretty really really pretty so like i say let me know if you've tried this one and let me know what you think and if you're not a floral candle because i know a lot of people don't uh, particularly lean towards the floral scents and if you're not a floral candle type of person don't be put off by this one because like i say that greenery that freshness and certainly that fruitiness that's running through this candle just makes it oh amazing so uh, yeah don't be put off thinking floral no thank you try it so uh, that's it for this week so i'm not quite sure what one i'll be back with next week i've got quite a few new ones um, so i think i just might surprise you next week so have a really good week whatever you're up to please leave me comments because i love to read them and i will get back to you and yeah have a good week. See you next week. Bye.